down a to-do list of everything that I'm supposed to do. And I just said, you know what, let me just film this whole thing because it's part of self-care, keeping your environment clean, doing everything that you're supposed to do, being productive. It's all part of, you know, self-care. Things like cleaning the house, editing my videos, gym. It's actually a pretty long list, but you guys are going to do this with me. I'm done with cleaning downstairs. I want to take out the cobwebs, so that's the next thing that I'm doing. I don't think I'm going to cook eventually because I saw my mom downstairs just cooking, so. so I'm about to go to take my shower. I need out this clothes that I'm going to wear. I have some other things to do before I shower. Like arranging my clothes is what's looking like right now. It is not the best. I was actually supposed to give this to give this to one of my friends. I'm um, tattoo. But I'm probably going to do that another day because today is already spent. But I'm going to postpone this for a while. I'll take my shower and then I'll do the other things that I'm supposed to do. I just wanted to do my skincare routine while I'm having a chat with you guys. I just finished taking my shower. There's a pimple that is coming. Wait, I can't see it anymore. I think here. I hear you guys can probably see it, but I can't see it very well. I'm just glad that it came before I did my acne video. So, I want to talk about... Oh, wait. The lighting is probably horrible, but I can't tell. I've noticed something about my camera. It doesn't really show exactly what is being recorded. I don't know why. Like, when I look at it, guys, let me be honest with you. Whenever I'm doing this, the, when, I'm, when I'm not putting the serum, I don't put it like this on my face. Only like when I'm feeling, feeling bougie. But if I'm like like rushing, I just drop it on my hand, rub, and then put it on my skin. The whole point of this video is basically to motivate you if you're like, if you haven't been productive in a long time. I might even still be in secondary school, but you know, you don't always feel that, pr that productive. So this video is kind of like to motivate you to stand up and do what it is that you need to do. Because I left secondary school, I haven't really been productive like that, like the things that I want to do. Compared to when I was actually even in secondary school and I had less time. Fun fact, I always put lip balm. Guys, even when I'm going to sleep, and since I started, my lips have been the softest that they have ever been. If you guys hear like some sort of noise or something, it's because it's raining for my to-do list. I couldn't, I could not arrange the back of the compound or the comp I wanted to just arrange the whole compound, but um, it's raining so I can't do that. Spread clothes, my mom ended up doing it for me so I don't have to do that. So exercise, I have no exercise. I'm thinking I might go to the gym today. If I can't make it to the gym, oh, I probably will go to the gym. Transfer video and edit. I don't really have any video to edit except this one. Um, I have to edit some essays for university. Write in journal and gratitude book. I recently just got this book and it has like prompts like your positive words. I don't know if you guys can see it. Your positive words for today. I'm grateful for this made me smile. Since today is productivity day. What kind of day today? If you're someone that like, gets down easily by maybe something going wrong in the day, I think this book really helps because instead of focusing on whatever it is that went wrong for the day, you focus on the things that made you happy and the things that you are grateful for. So then it just makes you a whole better person and a cheerful person. I do have this, it's also from Violet and Essentials, but it's just a plain journal, plain notes that you, yeah. Reading your Bible is also something, especially if you're religious, also part of self-care. Like, just making sure that you are with that person that makes you happy, which is God. <laughs>
it looks semi arranged. I also put the hangers to be the same color. I have these clothes here. I've showed you guys already. It's just like this. Yeah, and then I have my skincare things there. It looks more arranged. I promise you guys. Okay, so I tried to change environments because it was kind of getting a little boring there. The things I have left to do is basically to write my journal, the edit. The thing about the editing is my laptop, the one that has the program that I use, the battery isn't working so I can only use it when there's lights and there's no light right now. I'm just going to use this laptop to transfer the video to my phone and then I'll use my phone. I'm not sure which one I should do first. I think I'll, I'll write first but I need something to hold the thing up. <laughs> small amount it wasn't that much i don't think you guys can see it can you guys see it and then for the gratitude journal I basically wrote that i'm grateful for one the admission i got because i got admission the stuff i got from miniso i recently went to miniso i got some stuff and then the clothes that i'm going to buy tomorrow i'll probably show you guys like give you guys like a small haul in the next video not this video because i want to finish editing this video today and i know that like the stuff that that i said i'm grateful for it probably seem like a small thing but that's the whole point of the book the whole point of the book is to make you appreciate the small small things in life because usually we go about our day not appreciating the small things that happen small good things that happen to us and we, we tend to dwell on the bigger things but this book is all about appreciating every single thing that could have gone wrong but did not go wrong for you <laughs> I currently have a step goal of 10,000 steps. I'm going for my walk. Look at me. I'm still going to go to the gym later today. 10,000 steps.